What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mike Drop, and welcome back to part 10 of Days Gone. So we're going to travel all the way up to this location. I am going to cut it for you guys. That way you don't have to deal with the travel time like I always say. I don't want you guys to have to stare at the screen for like five minutes. Just me just riding Let's on the motorcycle. So I'll let you listen to this stuff. See if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Remember what you're doing. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. They're not. Oh, <laughs> don't believe it. Thanks, Steve. So tell me to catch a dog. All right, we're pulling up on the location, and looks like they are landing a helicopter. Hopefully, O'Brien's on here so we can get to the bottom of what happened to Sarah. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carrying on your so. Oh, man. Damn it. Gonna come off I heard something. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Thanks. I swear. Can I hide in these shrubbery over here? Yes, I can. Yeah, like they're not going to see some dude with fucking guns sticking out. That's ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, for real, dude. Like, what the hell is this bullshit? Ooh, I don't... I'm, dude, no, for real. Stop the cows. Poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. <laughs> he it's, it's, does not uh, care. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's, time, with Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 states. Burning, everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. He's not having it. Okay, 
Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, uh, Camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. <laughs> hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. to go please uh, you have to get out of here you don't know these men you don't know Ryan, what they're capable of if i don't hear from you i don't care how long it takes i'm gonna track you down <laughs> and i'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna i'm sorry about your wife but you're not the only one who lost someone that night i hope his wife is alive that'd be kind of cool That'd be actually really cool if we got to see his wife and him reunited. But she could be like Lori from The Walking Dead and shacking up with some dude. I don't know. I have to do five of these. I guess we're doing one mission after another. Um, O'Brien, oh, O'Brien, oh, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mass unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved your life. She can still be. She. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is, then maybe. Wolf. There we go. Three more pieces of meat. You there? Who's man? Um. A few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Nick, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I will tell you about it later. <sighs> when are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Why didn't he tell Boozer? Maybe he just doesn't want him to worry or think that he's crazy. I feel like he's just scared of the judgment that he's going to possibly get from Boozer. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien. Oh, you son of a bitch. You better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay. You better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? 
Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on! Ryan! Back to the... I really like this scope sniper. I don't care what anybody says. Nick, you there? Did you track down the chopper? Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. Did he remember? <laughs> Ouch. Okay, uh, you were saying? Did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. Oh, he remembered her. He doesn't know what happened. Okay, I'm gonna reload no. the pistol. My pistol's good. No, I'm, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. You know, she died. Hey, maybe you can finally, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna die as soon as I walk peace. up here. I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Let's see. Bandage, inventory full. Medical, med kit. Um. Craft some Molotovs. I wanna get like full on everything that way. Cause I need extra materials, I can just pick them up. Need kerosene. Let's get back to the bike. Um, that way I can get back to going hunting from hunting for meat for Boozer. Dang, my bike's a fat ways away. But it did, at least it had good dialogue along the way so I could listen. So, and you guys as well. All right, 900 meters away. I'm going to cut this out for you guys. Oh, geez. Maybe not just quite yet. Oh man, of course my bike does that right in the middle of a freaking crackhead place. Great. All right, I'm going to cut it <laughs> after that eventful little thing. All right, approaching the destination. Let's see if we can go. find an right, animal. Ah, oh, there's two of them. Okay. Oh, there's a lot. Didn't count that wolf that I got. Well, there's another one right there. Cool. Okay, so. One more, and we're done with this silly quest line. I hate gathering quest lines, even any like MMO. It's it's a lot. Oh shoot! There's one. There's the last one. Nice. All right. I still need to go stop by because he said he cooked something really nice for me, so I, I need to go stop by.
What the hell? I missed? Oh, man. There we go. Easy enough. Get on the bike. And let's fast travel to boot. Can't fast travel. Ridiculous. Can I fast travel now? What does it say? Can I fast travel? Oh, insufficient fuel. Okay, cool. We'll see. I bet I can make it. Most likely not. I, I, I'm not an expert in gas mileage in Days Gone, so we shall see. Shit, someone needs help. Ah. He whines so much. You're on top of the car. All right, let's talk to him. Hang on. I'm not going to make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? where, where show me. I'll go. I'll go. Let's go to Hot Springs. Go toward Three Finger Jack. Find the Salome Hot Springs. Talk to Alki Turner. I'll help you out. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit. Oh, St. John is his last run. name. That's why they call him St. John. Can you get on the bike? Actually, let's fix it first. Before we do anything. It's smoking. Field repairs. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the uh, deep to my my hideout. Uh, I might not make it. I might have to walk it up the hill. All right. I'm going to cut it for you guys. I'll let you guys know. See ya. And my motorcycle died right here. That's wonderful. Look at that. I am out, completely out of fuel, and I made it to the base. That's so freaking lucky, dude. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right. You should look for fuel. I mean, yeah, really. I had no idea. Let's 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 do this before I take off again. Always refuel at the freaking bases when you guys can, because this it takes up a lot of fuel, and you don't realize it. All right, cool. I wish I could store the freaking fuel, like I said, on the back of it, but no, pero no. No le gusta. It does not like it. The game does not like it. Uh, fill the ammo for that. Yes, purchase. And then we'll open this box. Med kit Molotovs is cool. All right. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. All right. There we go. Keeping Boozer alive. Cool beans. Wait, does he have any like jobs for me? Can I talk to him? No. What is what is this little orange thing? Maybe it's just like the oh, it's a base. Yeah, it's just just a base symbol. All right. They won't let me leave. Oh, interesting. It was on me, man. I did this already, so I'm gonna wait. Return to the hot springs camp. Okay. Gotta go here anyways, so let's fast travel. I hate loading screens so much. The bane of my existence. 
39% fuel, really? Let's ride in there and fuel up. But also, I'm going to turn in some bounties if I have any. I might have some. So, I would like to turn some in for this camp. That way, How's it going out there? it's not that much, but What's new? it'll do. Keeping the world safe. One dead freak at a time. That's all I got Let's fuel up before we do uh, anything. Just having a look. Okay. Okay. And now we can talk to this girl because she's got a job for us. Deke, uh, I, I need you to go after someone. Again? Go after someone. Okay, what's going on? Right after you brought in that girl, Lisa. Larson brings in another one. Name was Rose Allen, a weak little thing. But we figured she could pull her own weight, help us get this irrigation ditch done. Uh, okay, so what do you mean? You... She's gone. She went on a supply run with Alki, some others up to that abandoned Nero refugee camp. You know the one, I, I think you've been up there before. Yeah, 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 I know the one. Find her, Deke. There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If, if they find her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, got to do that, and then let's see. Well, I guess I have to talk to this girl too. Two different quests at the same time. I love it. I love getting a multiple quest that way. When I'm out, I can turn them all in at the same time. And get a massive experience. That's the World of Warcraft player in me. <laughs> How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. Um... What was the what was the point of that? I'll do that. Uh everyone has to work. Rescue job for Tucker and then I'll do that one at the same time. Just in case. All right, and we're going to cut out the travel times for you guys again. So once I get it back on this bike, hey, we'll be set. Going? So all right, see you guys in a bit. And we are approaching the destination. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Did not see that infected. Still got the better of me. Psych. Oh, gouge the eyes out. Let's go. All right. Easy enough. Okay. Which way? And I'm gonna spend that skill point before I forget. Might be here somewhere, right? Real quick, let's spend this. Uh, <laughs> It's funny I haven't done anything in increased ranges. Generate less noise. <laughs> Ability to roll quickly to recover from a knockdown. Bull rush, ability to stun a human or a swarmer with a melee attack while sprinting. Oh man, okay, let's. Let 
Proves the initial recovery and duration of focus cocktail. Let's let's do this one. Skill tier three unlocked. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. See where we go. All right, let's get out of that. Is this dude up on the tower? I wonder. All right, I'm going to cut this out for you guys in case I got to go up here, but I'm going to check. Help you. No, you're with her. I got to the you top of the ladder. No, no, I'm with Tucker. Uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 God damn it. Go on. Jeez, that bad, huh? I wish I knew how to equip those. All right, going back down the ladder, and we're going to cut it out. All right, now we're on our way to Sarah's memorial again. Let's see if it gives us something different. Hopefully, it gives us a different cinematic, because if it's the same one, I'm going to be a little upsetty spaghetti. Not going to lie. Okay, so I do have to clear. It's it's at least it's a different cinematic this time. Cause if I clear this out, Stopping off. it should give me something different. Cause it, it, I remember pushing that truck down, and it saved it. So, oh, reload, please. All right, so. Can I visit the memorial stone now? Oh, hey. I can. Cool. Again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right. I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, Mobile medical units. I mean, I got them sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as we get it back together, I, the, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Got a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that uh, I might not see you again. You know? Dang. Ripper Rooney. All right. 
Where to next? Oh, okay. So, nothing really major. Um, let's fast travel to there. Why does he keep doing that? I'm hitting R. Let's do it one more time. There we go. All right, y'all. That will conclude episode 10 or part 10, however you want to call it. Uh, we will be back for more with part 11. Thanks, guys. <laughs>